Well, I took a couple weeks off from Trebuchet Tuesday. Had some other stuff going on. Just uh, couldn't get around to working on it. But back at it today, finally. Um, I was going to work on it outside because I got up to 90 yesterday and today it is 39 degrees and it's snowing a little bit west of us. And I've been raining here off and on all day. Spring is nothing more than winter fighting summer, right? So, anyway, uh, so I'm more inside today. I changed what I was going to work on on the trebuchet. I was going to make the thing taller. Uh, but I decided since the weather is kind of bad, I'm going to work on making the wheels for it. But before I get started, uh, I'll show you something on my saw here. I decided to cut a piece of oil field tubing the other day, which it's two and seven eighths outside diameter tubing. And this blade did not like it. It took all but three teeth off of the dang blade. It's rusty now because I had it laying on the back of my welding truck and with the rain and everything it rusted instantly. But So yeah, for some reason uh, two and seven eighths oil field tubing just knocked all the teeth off of this blade. I don't understand it. And uh, for what I want to do right now this handheld saw is going to be a whole lot easier to make my cuts with. So I went and machined a little adapter to go in here um, instead of that flat plate that goes in there. Uh, basically it's just a bushing. So it goes from 5 eighths to 1 inch. So I can put my old chop saw blades in there. I'm going to try that out. Um, But the reason I made this whole entire back plate is the back plate that goes on the saw is too thick. And when I set the blade on there, then the lockdown piece won't grab in the dual drive flats. Which, at first I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but um, as you notice I don't have the original bolt in here. Uh, it's because it spun and over tightened and snapped the bolt. So anyway put this back together and I'll make some cuts here and we'll start building some wheels for the trebuchet. I'm going to cut a chunk off of this coil I got. Um, several years ago I was at an auction and they sold a big old coil of this uh, 3 inch strap iron. I've used quite a bit of it. As you can see I don't have a whole lot left. There was several rounds in there. Uh, but anyway I'm going to use this to make the wheels and I've come around and if you notice there's a little chalk mark there that's about 73 inches because I'm going to make the wheels about 23 inches and you say well why not go up to 24 well I went around and measured a whole bunch of tires and stuff of things I have and it's amazing how many of them are 22 or 23 inches so I decided to go with that size
Ha! That was a lucky guess. That's exactly 23. Okay. So I'll trim those back a little bit. Well together. And since this is set up in the middle here, um, I have just a slight flat spot. But I'm not going to worry about that for the trebuchet. Because it's not like we're going down the road at high speed. Well, I just stuck it in the table here and just pulled it back out real easy. What these wheels do is, first, they allow it to be mobile, but secondly, they actually increase the range. Uh, it took me a while to grasp this concept, and I'm still not sure I completely understand it, but we'll see when I put them on. But when the weight basket drops, on the arm I have, it comes and then it swings under. Well, gravity doesn't work this direction. It works straight up and down, right? So the wheels will actually allow the trebuchet to move forward and the weights will actually drop in a straight line downward. At least that's what the idea is. Um, and by doing that you transfer more energy into the fling. So we'll see if I gain a little bit by doing that. I don't know. But mostly I'm doing it for portability. Maneuvering this thing around.
just going to put a piece of pipe in here for the hub and uh, I'll probably need to put a grease circuit in that too. Make life a little bit better, wouldn't it? Well, I got it halfway centered, and it looks like if I just cut my spokes at 10 inches, um, maybe I can finesse them just a little bit, but it'll be really close that way. So I'll put a few spacers in all the way around there. Kind of put the spokes in. Not a very accurate job, I just kind of lined it up best I could. Um, I'm going to grab a piece of pipe and stick in there and spin this wheel and see if it wobbles really bad this way and try to weld and try to get the weld out, try to get the wobble out. It's kind of hard to tell because it wobbles on the pipe, but I think it's close. I think that's close enough for a trebuchet anyway. Uh, that's the first one done. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I forgot to drill my hole in there for the grease circ, but uh, I think it'll be all right. I think I'll actually just put it over here and run it, you know, in with the hand drill real quick, and it won't be that big of a deal at all. So, might actually be better to do it afterwards anyway, because. Then I'll have to worry about the weld and stuff getting down there in the threads of it. But anyway, I um, had a little trouble with the MIG welder. That shield is flopping around on me everywhere. So I was shorting out and really causing issues for me. But Some of my welds are decent. I got one down there. Didn't turn out too bad. But some of these... Where'd that one just go? But some of these were shorting out, it really wasn't working good at all. So, I like that one. I go a little bit and it's short out, so I start all over again. And makes for a pretty bad looking weld, but that's alright. Once again, it's for the trebuchet, right? So, anyway, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because I'm just going to do the other three, and that's. I don't even know if I'll get the other three finished today, actually. So anyway, that's it for this episode of Trebuchet Tuesday. Didn't actually fling anything in this episode, but we're a little bit closer to getting some wheels on it, which will be really nice. Not quite sure when I'll see you guys next. Um, May is a pretty busy month for me, so I can't guarantee you one every week, but hopefully in the not-too-distant future, 